On my mark, Carl. Walk under the ladder now! Looking good, Jimmy. No bad luck so far. <laughs> my skin smells funny. See, Neutron? Your idea to have a Friday the 13th dance is already jinxing us. What were you thinking? Tonight's dance will prove that bad luck is just a silly superstition. That lightning was just a coincidence. <laughs> Shin, why is this stuff a different color than the others? Oh, that one was broken. So I fixed it using one of Jimmy's old lightning rods. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Let's take you to the nurse. It's a lot safer there. Uh, you know, Cindy, uh, everyone's gonna be taking, um, well, dates to this dance. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Um, funny you mention that. Um, I kind of wanted to ask you something. Oh, really? G me too. I mean, I... it's a priority alarm. Someone's robbing the Retroville Bank. It's Professor Calamitous. <laughs> Neutron. Sorry, Cindy. This is more important. Oh, fine. It's not like I wanted to ask you to the dance or anything. Y you hear me? You may think you're the smartest kid in the entire universe, but I can do much, much better. Jenny! You have got to be the dumbest kid in the entire universe! Who the heck would come to a dance on Friday the 13th? It's all about bad luck! It was the only day I had free! <laughs> <laughs> Friday the 13th is my birthday! Who would come to your dance when they'll all be coming to the surprise birthday party you've been planning and cleverly hiding from me? All the ladies in this universe will be at my party! Good luck finding a date! <laughs> date! Date? Oh my gosh! I was so busy decorating, I forgot to get a date for the dance! Oh man, Crocker's right! No girl in the universe would date me! Oh my gosh, it's that boy who talks to inanimate objects! Just smile and back away slowly. Wait a minute. Girl in this universe! <laughs> He's so smart! You're so funny! I'll never forget you, Timmy Turner! Never! Duh! I can't believe I forgot her! I've got to be the dumbest kid in the universe! Good thing Cindy Vortex doesn't know that. Guys, pack your bags. We're going to Retroville! Ready when you are, amigos. Oh, wait, that's Mexico. Timmy is an average kid when no one understands. From here to the stars, you'll buy candy bars. Rides a kid with a knack for invention. <laughs> when you begin with every Superpowered mind, a mechanical king. Your savior, Anti-Cosmo, will have you all free presently. Hear that, Lord? We're breaking out of here and tight. Nothing you can do about it. Nobody is breaking out. You anti-theories are always being chaotic, always trying to break the rules. You prepare to join your friends in the anti-theory Puskow. Spilled salt? Oh, that is very bad luck! I shall return, my dim beloved! This I swear! <laughs> Dream on! I will buff up my security system! I will take away your ability to be invisible on Earth! And I will make this prison impregnable to anyone in theory world! Or Dimsdale! Or this universe! This 
universe? Hmm, could this mean there are other universes? No, oh, splendid! I smell a loophole! I smell a loophole! <laughs> Working with a partner was my best idea ever, Dr. Moist. I'm so glad that we met at the Evil Scientist Expo. Yes! Between your robot suit and my paralyzing operatic high notes, that bank never knew what hit it! Ah! You fool! You weren't watching the neutron detector. Friendship over! So, I see you managed to escape the force field I trapped you in back in the Cretaceous period? Yes, and I had a long time to contemplate my revenge, Neutron. Get a life! Ah. A partner. I'm gonna finish you off all on my own. Not if I can stick you with an anti gravity disc first! What? No! I'll get you, Neutron! Well, that's done. Now to get back to Cindy. Jimmy, we came to help you fight Professor Calamitous. Yeah, the doctor says I'm okay. The electricity passed harmlessly through my spine. No, if you'll excuse me, I need to ask Cindy something. No problem. Whatever, Holmes. We made it! We're in Retroville! Oh, dear! This universe makes my hips look fat! What universe does it? It's Neutron! Disguise yourself! Timmy? Timmy Turner? How did you get back into our dimension? Oh, hey! Well, I, uh, used my techno geekdoid wristwatch to, uh, warp here and stuff. Hola, Fudgehead! Small-headed Jimmy! Guys, his name's Timmy. Small-headed Timmy! What up, small head start? How are you, big teethster? Hey, I bet you guys know where Cindy lives. Cindy? Yeah. What do you want with Cindy? Oh, I'm here to ask her to my Friday the 13th dance tonight. Your Friday the 13th dance? We can show you. But only if you promise to get us there in an unsafe and irresponsible fashion. Well, I uh, wish I could do that. Maybe if I go behind this tree. Later, dude! Ah! Cindy would never go to a dance with a lunkhead like Timmy. Unless he fooled her into thinking he's really smart and really funny. <laughs> he's so smart! You're so funny! No! Then Neutron just flies off, leaving me there. Not that I wanted to go to the dance with him. Well, who are you going with? You think a day's just gonna come crashing through the ceiling? Yeah! Hi! Remember me? I must use this power for good! Timmy Turner? Oh, of course! How could I forget someone with your charm and mental acumen? <laughs> you still talk funny. Awesome ride, Timmy! Yeah, I got hit in the head. But okay, me and I think now. Uh, guys, could you give me a second? I need to ask Cindy something very important. You came all the way from your universe just to ask me something? Now that's what I call panache. Ah, uh, they do speak Spanish here! Silencio, estupido! So, uh, here goes. Cindy, would you like to... Wait! Cindy, before you say anything, there's something you have to know about Timmy. Back off, Fudgehead, you're cramping my style. Sorry, Timmy, but somebody's got to tell her you're not a genius! What? Oh, of course he is! How do you think he got here, magic? <laughs> magic! <laughs> magic! <laughs> Cindy, he's just pretending he's a genius, so you'll go to his Friday the 13th dance with him tonight. <gasps> Timmy! That's so flattering! Really? Well, my, uh, humongous genius brain figured you'd feel that way! Cindy! This is all an incredible confabulation! I've had enough of you, Mr. Big Word Using Guy. You heard the lady. I am so a genius. Oh, yeah? Prove it. <laughs> there. How do you like my quantum boxing glove gadget thing that I just invented? That's it, tiny brain. It's go time. Oh, yeah? Bring it on. Amazing! He invents stuff so fast you can't even see him do it! Cindy, are you really gonna let those two guys fight over you? Um, <laughs> I 
thought I might. Girl, you are my hero. Okay, Turner, if you're a genius, try to counteract my freeze ray. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, smart-headed Jimmy! Oh, but we still like you too, big-headed Jimmy. Now, face the power of my... I wish I had a burp cannon. Burp cannon! <gasps> <laughs> Time to expose this faker once and for all. I wish I had a cool rocket like neutrons. Uh, that I will now invent behind this tree. Looking for me? Is there a movie on this slide? Yes, and it's called Don't Let Jimmy Hear You. Oh, I love westerns. Well, back to the resumes. Finding a good collaborator is my only chance of defeating Neutron. Can also do light housework. Hmm. My Neutron detector. He's on the move again. Watch him bring the light to clean. Bring it on, me! What's this? Someone else fighting Neutron? Uh, beating him by the look of it. How does he keep building stuff so fast? I bet him. Quiet, we're in disguise. I mean, tip, 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 tip. It's over, isn't it? Your reality bending computer programs, of course. That's how you're doing all this. So what? You've got your stupid science stuff, and I've got Cosmo and Wanda. Um, can I just say one thing? Sure. Mountain! <laughs> I wish this button would save Jimmy. Uh, do we need to tell anyone about this? Oh! <laughs> In your face, Neutron. I outgeniused you and saved your butt. Incredible. That small boy defeated Neutron with his tiny flying helpers. I must find out where he got them. Neutron, you boob! You almost got Timmy killed! Cindy, Timmy's not a genius! Oh, please. You're just jealous because he's way smarter than you. Yeah, what she said. Cindy, why don't we go someplace where we can talk about tonight's dance? Say, my dimension? <laughs> I'd love to. Bye, Nerdtron. Have fun dancing with she. Cindy, wait! Clutter, I'm going to Dimsdale. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, the position's filled. Hey, Jimmy, I don't know what this stuff does, but here. Thinks you can just open up a dimensional wormhole, sweep Cindy off her feet, and then poof them both back to his universe? Yes. Go on, Neutron. Open that portal so I can learn the secret about Big Tooth Child's floating collaborators. Done. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to save Cindy from the horrors of a dumb dance date. Yo, I told you I'm coming too. Cindy's my girl. And we have no lives, so count us in. Okay, okay, just hurry. We're running out of time. <laughs> Neutron's lab. It's open. Well, maybe just a little peek. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at me! I'm totally flat! And you, my dear. Uh, don't even go there. So where do you think Timmy and Cindy are, Jimmy? Don't know. We'll have to split up. But be careful. This Turner is a wily one. Having a good time, my trans-dimensional sweet? I can't believe we're flying on an actual Pegasus. <laughs> Actually, Cindy, the term is winged horsey. <laughs> and I can't believe you found the dress of my 
dreams with tiara and shoes to match and i really can't believe your parents are billionaire supermodels <laughs> True. Yeah! <laughs> what are the odds? I wish this thing was back where you found it! Oh, Timmy. This is the most magical day of my life. Do you know what would make it even more magical? Uh, you agreeing to be my date to tonight's Friday the 13th dance? I might go. If you show me your lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab! Where you make all your inventions. Neutron never wants me in his lab, but you're not like him, are you? Ha! Not in the slightest. I wish... No! Not another word. I don't want anything to spoil this moment. Don't say anything until I see your steamy den of scientific discovery. Ah! Sorry about this, dude. Remember. Okay, I wish. Shush! And not another word until we get there. I want to cherish this moment. I know just the place. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Good going, Calamitous. Now, there must be something in Neutron's infinite storage cube that can help me find that big tooth boy's flying helpers. Hi, Mr. Turner. I'm looking for... <laughs> Another reality avoidance costume, eh, Timmy? Oops, I mean Buzz Adams. Looks like someone's date was a disaster. What? A date? You know what else is a disaster? The toilets. Get to work, Buzz. Hey, this wig you're using to hide your shame makes a great handle. Uh, this is nice. Cindy, would you? Would you? Hi, small-headed Timmy. Hi, normal-headed Cindy. Carl? Sheen? What are you guys doing here? Jimmy brought us. He's trying to find you. He is? Uh, look out for that sandstorm coming towards just you two guys that I just wished for. <laughs> Cindy? I do! Cindy! Libby? Did he ask you yet what I miss? Tell me everything, girl. Uh, uh, hey! Is that a famous hip-hop star? Where? Is it Lady Lolly Da? Uh, sure. I wish. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Cindy, will you? Small headed Timmy! Yes, yeah, small headed Timmy! Here, boy! <laughs> Could I excuse me for a sec? Do you mind? You guys are totally cramping my style, which I now have in my own universe with this one girl. Yeah, well, that one girl is my best friend, and I ain't going anywhere until I know she's happy. And Libby is my girl, and I'm not going anywhere until she's happy. Or unless Ultra Lord's involved in some way, shape, or form. And I just want to see what llamas look like in this universe. Look, what if I gave you guys my pink and green fur, uh, reality-bending computer programs to play with? Adam, okay. Works for me. All right. But if Neutron was right and you break Cindy's heart, reality isn't all that's gonna get bent around here. Get it? Got it. Cosmo, Vonda, I wish you would do whatever these guys tell you to do. Because that wish always works great. Take us where the llamas are. Finally, a llama wish. I can't believe 
believe I'm scrubbing stupid Timmy Turner's stupid toilet with a stupid toothbrush! Finished! Man, those high-fiber energy bars we supermodels eat zip right through you! You're going to need this! No! Yay, I'm the Llama King! Come, my loyal subjects, we! Now give me giant feet! No, no, I know! Give me a TV for a head! No, 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 I know! Make me best friends with Morgan Freeman! Now we're getting somewhere! I may never brush my teeth again. Maybe that's how Turner's teeth got that way. It's Neutron. Who needs tiny collaborators when I can just dispatch Neutron myself with one of his own weapons? Hmm. This looks suitable. What? Never be clean. Never be clean. Professor Calamitous? My hypercube? To-do list. One, travel to parallel universe. Two, capture Big Tooth's flying helpers. Three, destroy Neutron. So, he's after Turner's computer programs. Son, I'm having another high-fiber energy bar. <laughs> is cooking up a delicious stew of bad luck. Sweet muffins. I never had this much bad luck in my universe. My universe? Wait a moment. Are you from another universe? <gasps> you're, you're one of those tiny flying creatures. You can help me destroy my nemesis, Jimmy Neutron. Of course. I'd be happy to help with whatever it is you're blathering on about, provided you do me one teensy favor. At last, complete and total lockdown. The ultimate defense against fairies, anti-fairies, and even the occasional gnome. Nothing of this universe can get in or out. Hello, my good man. Oh, hello. Hey! This the emergency release button? You bet. Never allow you to escape? Well, your friends are free. Now you help me defeat Neutron. Yes, about that. I thought you were going to be my collaborator. You lied to me. Yes, I do that from time to time. It's almost like I'm evil. Well, time. Ready, Cindy? Ready, Timmy. Cue the swans. Right. Huh? Neutron, you are here. Cindy, listen to me. Calamitous followed me here, and he's trying to use Turner's floating computer programs for evil. Oh, please. Like anything bad's gonna happen on my watch. <laughs> is out to halt the Earth's rotation. Tomorrow will never come, making every day Friday the 13th. Uh, why would you tell us that? Because I know you can't stop me, fool. <laughs> <laughs> he called you fool. Do you always have to get the last word? Yes. Nothing to worry about. Let's worry. I'm not worried. Do I look worried? You should be. The sky is filling with your evil computer programs. Mine? Yes, yours. And now let's pause a moment as I perform the in your face dance. In your face, in 
In your face. In your face. Uh -huh. In your face. Oh, I wouldn't be dancing in his face if I were you. Soon, every day will be Friday the 13th, and bad luck will rain down upon you in perpetuity. And it's all thanks to you and your friend Calamitous. Yeah, way to go, Nerdtron. Oh, and thank you, Timothy, by luring him up here by showing off Cosmo and Wanda. Ta! In your face! In your face! In your face! <laughs> Look, don't worry. I've dealt with these guys before. We can stop them, but we'll need to find Cosmo and Wanda. But you lent them to Carl, Sheen, and Libby. Well, they could be anywhere. All right, Calamitous. I agree. We will team up in order to escape. <laughs> I will now use your puny, otherworldly body to bash my way out of this cell. But I can't break free. Can I just say something? What? He left the keys in the door. Nice job! Neutron, what is that thing? It's a sound wave detector. All we have to do is find the funkiest beat in a 100-mile radius, and we'll find Libby. Cosmo and Wanda should be with her, Carl, and Sheen. Well, that's brilliant, Neutron. Thanks, but I don't hear anything yet. Well, maybe it's being drowned out by the sound of you patting yourself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, lend me your anti-ears! It is time for the master plan! You, get out there and cause as much bad luck as possible! <laughs> While you take to the skies, circle the globe at hypersonic speeds to stop its rotation! <laughs> Once you succeed in slowing the rotation of the Earth, time will stand still! Tomorrow will never come! It will be Friday the 13th every day, and bad luck will reign forever! are awfully quiet. Well, undoing all the trouble he's caused takes concentration. Hey, you're the one this calamitous guy followed here. If you weren't so jealous of me and Cindy. Hey, you knew I liked Cindy and tried to steal her from me. <coughs> Guys, wait! I hear something. There they are! Libby! Carl Sheen! Cosmo Wanda! Herbert Newman! What? Everyone else got to say a name? So much. Lava. Come on, Shane. These lines are gonna memorize themselves. So much, Morgan! Oh no! There's suffering wish overload! Libby, you've gotta wish Cosmo and Wanda back to me! Why you? I'm the genius here! Look, Brain Boy! They're my programs and I know how to make them work! Listen, Cindy, I know some of this is my fault, even though most of it is neutrons, but all I ever wanted was to take you to the dance! These boys are still fighting over you? Oh, <laughs> are they? I hadn't noticed. Go ahead, give Timmy his programs back. I wish Timmy had Cosmo and Wanda back. I wish that every wish that Carl, Sheen, and Libby made didn't happen, and they were all back to their own selves. Yes, Rock Dad, I am leaving you. I can't go on. <laughs> Cosmo, Wanda, quick! I wish the anti-fairies were gone! Goodbye, anti-jerks! There's too many anti-fairies! They're interfering with our wands! Well, you're the genius here. What do you want to do? Cook his lab! Uh, I mean my other lab! Cosmo, Wanda... Anti-theories! I will stop them with my mighty magic wand! <laughs> or not. Plan B. Hide! of your teacher everywhere. Because I love to learn 
Does that explain that picture of you with a dart in it? And that huh? sign that says, I hate Timmy? Uh, I have low self-esteem? Me too! Timmy? Uh, ah! A, a butterfly, butterfly net. net! A, a butterfly, butterfly net? net? If it has wings and flies, a butterfly net can catch it. Really? Hmm. Aha! If I can combine this butterfly net with my hypercube, I might be able to suck all those rogue computer programs into it. I just remembered. I don't have low self-esteem. I have low blood sugar! And voila! Neutron. Uh, I'll stand over here and make sure Cindy's okay. You okay? <laughs> uh huh. Good work, Timmy. Now come on, let's go kick some butt. Mm. Mm. Oh, what's that? Eh, eh, eh. Must have been dreaming about fairies. <laughs> I've got you cornered, Tony. No, mother, not the tiny pads. <laughs> I'm Jet You Betcha saying it's Friday the 13th in Dimsdale, and I can't change the calendar! Okay, here's the plan. We need to get all the anti-fairies in one place so Neutron can suck them up. Got it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You bet! You bet! There's, There's a, a plan. plan! Operation Anti-Bad Luck is now in effect! Ah. crisis is over. Back to business. Oh, boys. Nice work, guys. You both did a great job. Uh, him? It was my net that saved us. No, Cindy, it was my hypercube. I'm Cindy's hero. No, I'm Cindy's hero. Cool. When we get back home, can we get them to do our homework? <laughs> huh. The infinite storage cube. With that much harnessed energy, I'd be invincible. 
Negative! Those anti-theories are going back to jail! Calamitous! I can't let him get the hypercube! And I can't let Neutron look good! I'll stop them with this! Timmy, no! That's your gene splicer! <laughs> Maintain dominance! Not a chance. My mind stronger than you. He's big! He's mean! Oh, he's gross! Where's he gonna buy shirts? Finally, an all-powerful collaborator of my very own. With my genius and your power, I'll be invincible! If I could move my arms, I would so totally beat you up right now! You mean, like this? <coughs> Why are you hitting yourself? <coughs> Why are you hitting yourself? <coughs> Why are you hitting yourself? I can't move of my own will! <coughs> because my will's in charge! And now, for my first trick... <coughs> I saved her! No, I did! <coughs> <laughs> Wait! I should not be laughing! This is a terrible situation! And yet, <laughs> I find myself unable to resist your, your influence! <laughs> I will get you for this! <laughs> Jimmy! Timmy! The only boys who ever fought over me and they're gone! Hey! Let go of her! Do not worry, little girl. It is against the rules to use magic to... Silence! Sorry, girly. I can't have you avenging your boyfriend's demises. You're coming with me to Retroville. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! My head Timmy! Milton! Bimowitz! What? He's the king of Anvil, and he plays the spoons. Can you play the spoons? Oh, joy. Having a magic partner in crime has allowed me to finish almost every item on my new to-do list. I've terrorized the inhabitants with prehistoric creatures. <coughs> imprisoned Jimmy's loved ones in carbonite. And prepared a delicious picnic lunch to nourish my strapping new body. <coughs> this sandwich is unacceptable. Sourdough is the lowest form of bread. You'll eat it and you'll like it. Yeah. This indignity will be avenged! Mmm, spicy mustard. My two favorite people are gone, and now you're probably gonna get rid of me. Oh, a gentleman would never harm a lady. Besides, I need to keep an eye on you while I complete my greatest plan of all. Behold, my big bang bug! with shockwaves so powerful they'll tear the very fabric of time. The Earth will revert to its original state, allowing me to remake it in my own glorious image. <laughs> you madman! Could you please pass the pickle relish? Oh, no! Our old best friend and our new best friend both gone! They'd barely be done to hate each other. We're doomed! Columbus is mega powerful, and the only two people who can stop him are toast! Why? <laughs> Actually, we're snails. But the French eat us with toast. <laughs> Timmy! Jimmy! Jorgen's magic didn't destroy you! It just turned you into cute little snails! Cool! I want to feed him. Who's got some snail biscuits? Guys, Calamitous took Cindy to Retroville. We've got to save her. This is all our fault, Turner. Our stupid competition has endangered the life of the woman we think is sort of cool. Yeah, you know, for a girl. Pathetic. Then it's settled. We've got to put aside our differences and join forces to save her. Let's shake on it. Uh... Everyone, I have a plan. Activate. Pop
particle accelerators. Reset expansion sequence. Charge the detonator with unlimited power. Excellent. Here's a cookie. You're insane, Calamitous. You'll be destroyed, too. No, I'll be hiding under that magical desk. Sorry there's no room for you. Uh, but you said you don't harm girls. Quite right. Jorgen, turn her into a goldfish. Sorry, blonde girl. The merger made him the boss of my body. I'm so ashamed. Arming highly suspenseful detonation timer. Now! Hey, stop, insane evil human. You must reconsider, or at least come closer so I can bite you. Not too late. Nothing can stop me from finishing my greatest plan of all. Yeah. Very Force 5, attack! You? Hit for hurting our friends, chunk! A tractor beam? I guess that's the best you can do, now that Neutron and Overbite Boy are gone. But, Professor, I keep trying to tell you... Silence! We've got to turn their own energy against them. Good idea having your friends make us invisible for our re-entry, Turner. That's what Timmy brings to the party. Now, where's Cindy? The others can't hold that creep off forever. My readings indicate she's at the top of the structure. Take my hand, Turner. Yeah. Afraid of intimacy. Come on! <laughs> Jimmy! Timmy! You're alive! Cindy? You're a fish? I can't dance with a fish! I mean, that fiend! Calamitous wants to blow up the universe! You've got to defuse this bomb! Incredible! A working quantum nullification device! If I can just identify this energy matrix... Better let Timmy do it. He's more familiar with the systematology. Right, Timmy? Uh, define systematology. And familiar. And more! Cindy, I'm telling you for the last time, Timmy's got the brains of a four-day-old melted pudding pop. Hey! I'm tired of you trying to make me look bad in front of her. You think you're so smart? Well, anybody can press buttons. Cindy! Oh, in hindsight, buttons aren't always the way to go. Jimmy and Beaver Boy, but I destroyed them. Attention, passengers. We're beginning our descent into the town of Retroville. We know you have a lot of choices out there, so thank you for flying air, idiot. How can they still be alive? I've been trying to tell you, my magic can't be used to destroy people because it is against the rules. Whoa! Now to finish you off, once and for all. Hello, Mr. Poor Listening Skills. The rules forbid it. I am your tiny master. Obey me. No. You will. No. You will. Turk is able to resist Calamitous' demands when they make him mad. That's great. So all we have to do is keep Jorgen angry. Summon your computer programs. Call your friends. Cosmo Wanda. I need you to create the craziest, most illogical magic you can. Enough to make Jorgen furious. No, no. I don't know, sweetie. I'm just not much of a loose cannon. I am. But where would we find someone as dangerously off-kilter as me? Dance, you know, dance! Now and forever, I am Berry Boy! Do you feel illogical, punk? Well, do you? I was born illogical. As a doctor. You will. No! You will. No! Maybe. No! Turn, no. villain, and face your worst nightmare! Yeah! An idiot and a bigger idiot! And me! Wait, I counted me twice. Make a move, I dare you. With my new powers, I'm invincible. I'm riding on a glory. All these poor my products have got me feeling blue. What? Hot dogs do not fly or spit fire? That is illogical, and it makes me very angry. Whoa! 
Oh! I'm me again! It's working! Jargon, pay attention! Oh, oh! Just making him mad isn't enough to break him free. We have to do the one thing he can't stand. Which is, we have to violate the rules. And action! I wish Carl would fall in love with that turkey. Uh, oh, turkey, I am suddenly filled with love for you. Me? What? You cannot use fury power to make people fall in love, especially with poultry. You had me at... Go again, Timmy. I wish Cosmo could beat Sheen at rock, paper, scissors. Fight, fight, shoot! Yay, I win! Thanks, Magic! Once, twice, shoot! Oh, darn. You won with Magic again. Once, twice, shoot! No! You cannot use Magic to win a competition, even a ridiculous one like that. Focus, you muscle-bound imbecile. Yay! Neutron, we have to break the biggest rule of them all. Been waiting all day to say this. I wish Jimmy Turner was gone. Ah, my spleen! Goodbye, cruel, bulgy world! <laughs> no, he's gone! Gone! <laughs> no! Obey me, fool! Obey me! You have broken the most sacred of all the fairy rules! How? How? Quick, while he's free of Calamitous' control! Neutron, catch! Sorry to split up such a close relationship. It's not fair. I finally had it all planned out. You a human, you have subjected me to the ultimate indignity. Plus, the whole time, your breath smelled like fish tacos. I can explain. Guys, you did it! That was awesome! Oh, don't be modest, Timmy. After all, you deactivated the bomb. The bomb? <laughs> my incredible powers are back under my control. I have made everything as it was before. Is this the end of Fairy Boy? For now. But if we ever need a sub, we'll call. That was the most reckless I've ever gotten with a giant hot dog. Guys, look! Jordan shrank Calamitous and trapped him in this bottle. Can I keep him? I'll get you, Neutron. I'll... I don't think so, Professor. With the help of Turner's technology, we won't be threatening anyone for a long time. Okay, so blah, 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 the universe is saved. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get my groove on. So listen up. Who are you going to the dance with, girl? So you really aren't a genius, are you, Timmy? Sorry, Cindy. I didn't think you'd like me if I wasn't smart. And he was right, right? Because I'm warming up for the in-your-face dance. But Timmy's still a considerate guy who actually pays attention to me. Ha! Face, Lord of the Loops! Oh, I really wish there was some way I could go with both of you. Since you helped to free me and round up the anti-fairies, I would be happy to help you with your puny and stupid problem. Uh? My shiny teeth and me. I'm having a great time, Neutron. Me too, Cindy. I'm glad you decided to come to the dance with me. Mind if I cut in? Hey, no fair! The upbeat Bobby dances are mine! <laughs> I can't believe we're jamming at the world's first ever multi-dimensional dance party. I know. Check it out. I'm flat. I'm bouncing. I'm flat. I'm bouncing. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Neutron. Ooh, yeah. Time's up, Turner. Walk my date back. Wait your turn, Baron Von Boring. She's my date, too. But it is my turn. It's not. It's two. It's not. Mine. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Boys, boys, please. This fighting over me has got to stop. Masana, teeth and me.
We must tune up your puny fairy bodies. It is time for wind-ups. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, I made a monkey. So did I. Monkey wind-ups, now. One, two, one, two. missed first period, but I'm still in time for... Jim? What's going on? We're playing dodgeball. It's dries versus wets. Think fast. Oh, my aching wings. Well, at least Timmy's smiling face and cheerful disposition will make the pain go away. I don't see a smiling face. There it is! Oh, sorry, sweetie. We were gone longer than we thought. Oh, well, great. Because you guys had to poof off to Camp Happy Crownyville, I got rained and volleyball on! You have no idea how hard it is to be a kid. Yeah, having us grant your every wish all day long must really take a toll on your nerves. Being a fairy is no day at the beach either. All right. Having unlimited magical powers and acting goofy all day long would depress 